at the end I decided to take the fastest and the cheap and the most expensive approach if you prefer to call it that way getting the most expensive premium pass available during this neon season which cost me around 25 bucks and I also spent a few other bucks getting some extra blue badges in order to obtain more rewards from all the pages I have unlocked on this neon season as you can see I'm claiming right now the ultimate upgrades available in the season but also I will be claiming the brand new season card which is the DMC DeLorean neon edition and of course I will be fully upgrading it with one of these uh, ultimate upgrades because right now I don't have like a lot of options in order to use uh, appropriately the this ultimate upgrade so I thought why not and I decided to fully upgrade this uh, DeLorean mostly because it's, it actually looks quite cool but you will see uh, in a few minutes another uh, really cool feature this car has also I obtained the Fenrir uh, a special decal from this neon season which looks quite decent in my honest opinion and now it's the right moment to apply that ultimate upgrade into the my brand new DMC DeLorean neon edition the thing is that actually uh, uh, since it is a C-class car it's not the most expensive car to upgrade but still I prefer to bring you guys the fastest multiplayer test at the full performance that's why I decided to go for this this one and spending one ultimate upgrade on this car I know that many of you guys have already spent your ultimate upgrades on really good choices like the Pininfarina Batista, the Bugatti Cento Dieci and many others and I'm so proud of you guys because you most of you guys made the right choice and I'm sure that that car will help you guys a lot uh, to develop your skills so I think I could uh, allow myself to, to get this car and to apply an ultimate upgrade mostly because I own already all the kings on this game uh, all the class S kings so was between applying the ultimate upgrade on this car or applying it to the vision 1789 which is a quite mediocre class S car of course it's at the top tier but it's way more mediocre and of course I guess that you guys are most, most interested in uh, looking for the performance of this car rather than seeing the Vision 1789. Also with the two other ultimate upgrades I think I will keep them because I'm also converting cards in order to fully upgrade the two check once it arrives because let's remember that you can actually convert uh, two check pro kits through super big wild cards. I don't know why because Gameloft for some reason released it. I don't think it's a bug or something like that but for some reason you can actually convert the two check while uh, pro kits so that's a, an advantage I will try to take advantage from as much as I can converting as many two check kits as I can before Gameloft changed that because who knows what Gameloft may do in the future with that two check conversions and also I have seen that the uh, Lamborghini Countach LP804 if I'm not sure I'm not sure about the name uh, but anyways is the new Lamborghini Countach that just arrived on the on asphalt line and was an extremely pay to win car to obtain but uh, also just dropped on asphalt 8 I don't have the official stat yet but I have seen that you can actually convert uh, the pro kids cars from this new countach also so I guess that Gameloft is planning to release it uh, in in a near future also guys I would like to hear your thoughts regarding the this neon season pass because of course I think that most of you already noticed that the premium line rewards are like extremely OP. I mean, you can actually fully agree the Lotus Sevilla, uh, the Chevrolet Corvette CR1, and also a, a, way, a few other cars like the, Kit, like the KTM Expo GTX, if I'm not wrong, and also the Acura NSX GT3 Evo, which is one of the best cars you can actually own in a B class. Also, you can actually get the Tomahawk and you can get like a lot of, of rewards in the premium side of the season. But on the free uh, side of the season, the rewards are not that good. And of course, I think that Gameloft will try to change this in the next season. But be sure to let, game, let Gameloft know your thoughts about this uh, neon season in the social medias, in the Gameloft official uh, social medias, in the Asphalt A Discord server let them know that you would like to see more free rewards because uh, 
as for now, they are trying to hear all the feedback from this kind of updates and season and that, su and that stuff. And if you have some uh, constructive criticism, you can actually let them know in the Asphalt 8 Discord server, in the Instagram comments and that stuff. So, uh, I'm, I'm also looking forward for, to the Tushek to come at the game because I have a, a good feeling regarding that car. I'm not sure still how good it will be. I don't know the stats or nothing about it, about it yet. So stay tuned to the channel because as soon as I get something about it, I will let you all guys know in a new video. I really hope you all enjoyed this video looking at the performance of this brand new DMC DeLorean Neon Edition and be sure to stay tuned to not to miss anything. I will see you really soon with much more Asphalt 8. Take care and see you soon guys. Goodbye. Let me go Why did I let you go? How could I let you leave?